guys, I am Ivana. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Today I have a very exciting unboxing and this is exciting because this is a new piece from Dooney and Burke and I have never seen it in person yet. I'm very excited to see it today. I have taken the tape off the box. I have not looked at the item yet. Here it is. Well, this is the back side of it. Definitely looks like a return because it's not wrapped in any sort of um, protective tissue. This is from Dooney.com. Ooh, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, I don't know about the condition of this one, guys. Definitely a return icy scratches. This is the Turnlock collection, and this is the ostrich version in the color caramel. And this is the flap saddlebag. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the tape is somewhat kind of removed. There's a scratch there and a scratch there. Side. Sorry about that, guys. Side. Bottom. And so the mechanism opens like this. And here you have a very smooth kind of a... I don't know what that... Maybe it's new buck. It kind of feels like a very soft leather or a new buck. There's quite a bit of scratching here. Now, I don't know if that's just on the tape or if that is on the metal itself. It's a beautiful bag. It's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. The picture is very deceiving. On some of these items on Dooney.com, the measurements have not been correct. So I wasn't quite sure about this one. It has a key keeper. The inside lining is this, it's kind of like a, it's like that canvasy, thick, textured lining. There's a tag in there that says Judy and Burke. It has one very small, almost card slot pocket on the front wall and just a zipper pocket on the back wall. No pockets on the outside of the bag at all. It It's very pretty. But when it's closed, I don't know if you can tell, but doesn't that flap look cockeyed? It looks like it's crooked. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure what is making that happen. It just automatically wants to look like this. So I'm gonna have to figure out why it's doing that. But I think you can probably tell that it's on somewhat of a slant here. It is really a pretty bag. It's just not in very good condition. So I will put the measurements of the bag here. It is currently on sale on Dooney.com for 30% off. If you are watching this near the time of releasing this video, um, the rest of the collection is also on sale for 30% off, I believe. The Pebble Grain collection is on sale as well, I believe. I think that might've been on the 12 Days of Dooney. I will leave links down in the description box below for ease of shopping. I have a Dooney and Burke partner. And if you use my links, I will receive a small commission. It does not change your price at all. So I want to thank you in advance if you are using my links for shopping. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot to me. Let's see what fits in this bag. So my 
iPhone 14 Pro. This is just the case because I'm filming with my phone. My iPhone 14 Pro fits standing up and you can still close the flap because you've got a little bit of leeway there. I don't know if you can see it standing up in there. It also fits laying down. Here is another one of my favorite wallets or card cases from Dooney and Burke. And this one fits, gosh, I thought this was gonna be, look how it fits. It's also just to the top. This can also fit this way. Here is a Dooney and Burke. I believe this is either a small or a medium wristlet. This fits this way. Let's see. It does not fit standing up because it is hard to close it. If you forced it, you could, but I don't think you would probably want to, you probably wouldn't want to do that, but it fits this way. Now, of course, these are empty, so if you had stuff in them, it would bulk them out a little more, and they probably wouldn't fit as easily. But so far, I think I'm liking how things fit. This is a Dooney and Burke regular size long wallet. It's a slim wallet. There's nothing in it. This does not fit this way or this way. So for a regular size wallet, this little bag is not going to work. Let's try a little notebook. This fits. This is also the size roughly of a passport case. So that would probably fit in the bag as well. Here is a Dooney Kislot coin purse or large framed purse. This one is a little, if you wanted to use it as a wallet, that's how it would look. It might make marks up there with the little Kislots. It doesn't really fit that well standing up. And finally, my legendary double eyeglass case that's a little puffy. That fits in sideways. It does take up a lot of room. So if I wanted to maybe have this and my phone and a card case, that fits in there. Not much else. Oh, I love it. Gosh, I wish it was in better condition because I really like this pretty little bag. Now, for me, it was a toss-up between this one and the crossbody. I'm going to put a picture in it somewhere here. That one would hold more, but I just loved that this, this saddlebag had such an oversized logo plate with the turn lock that it just drew me to it. This does have the three-part strap where you can make this a short shoulder bag or a crossbody or a long shoulder. This is a smooth leather. This is 14 karat gold plated hardware. And this also is 14 karat gold plated hardware. But this leather, I can tell already by the marks on it that it's going to scratch easily if you're not careful. So that is one thing to consider with this, this bag. I was looking at the pebble grain version also, but I love ostrich. I just love ostrich. And I just thought this was so beautiful with the contrast between the smooth leather and the textured leather here. Oh, I just loved it. And the leather trimming down the sides and all across the bottom. I just thought there was so much detail on this bag that I just loved it. And then combined with all of the detail with the smooth leather or new buck and this nice textured thick canvas lining. So there it is guys let me show you the sticker information there it is 
So here it is crossbody, and this is on the very middle setting. And I'm going to take that middle section out so you can see what it looks like as a short shoulder bag or a shoulder bag. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that short. Here it is on the shortest setting. Looks like maybe it's a little bit longer of a shoulder bag. So there it is. It's that weird length that, I don't know, I think if it, if it was gonna be a shoulder bag, I would rather it be a little bit higher like this so you can kind of use it as more of an evening bag, but this is detachable so you can add your own strap or your own chain on here to dress it up if you wanted to. So there it is. Sadly, this one did not come to me in very good condition. I'm a little surprised because this is a new release. I might be able to get past the couple scratches that are on here, but the fact that this flap does not stay straight, that is something that I can't, can't get past. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you if you were considering this bag. I hope it didn't turn you off from this bag because this is only one. It is a beautiful bag, and I might try again with either this style or a different style. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.